Well, just one week from today, when the nation pauses to remember Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., a local community activist will be kicking off a petition for a new monument of the late civil rights leader. And it's because many say the bust of Dr. King doesn't look like him. Channel 2's Claudine Ewing is here to tell us more about the criticism on both sides. Claudine? Scott and Mary Alice, the discussion is very interesting. It created a lot of buzz on Facebook when we first did this story a few weeks ago. Now one of the original committee members behind this bust of Dr. King tells me it was not supposed to look like Dr. King. Instead, it was to represent everything he stood for, the struggle of black males and free thinking, but does it? You be the judge. This is the MLK bust in the park named after him in Buffalo. And as you look at video of the late civil rights leader, check out pictures and images, including the bust. And here are statues of King around the world. So what about this Buffalo bust? To just dismiss it as, well, it must have been a mistake because it doesn't look like, no, no, this was well thought out and planned. Former Buffalo Common Councilman Cliff Bell was on the committee that hired an out-of-town sculptor, John Wilson, to design the bust. And he suggested that we use this head as a force of black man and black power. He hoped that this would create interest in pursuing information about King. When you look at that head, does it look like Dr. King? No, it, not, and no, it doesn't. And it was never intended to look like Dr. King. That's the concern I have. Hundreds were on hand for the unveiling, including the late mayor, Jimmy Griffin. When it was unveiled back in the 80s, yes. were there people in the audience who looked at it and said, ooh, that I'm doesn't sure. look like Dr. King? I'm sure. I'm sure that a lot of people that came were saying, whoa, that doesn't look like King. What is this? It's time to remove that head, melt it down, and create a enlarged, life-size image. When it comes to Sam Herbert, what is your message to him? If someone wanted to build something that looked exactly like King as their tribute, that is their prerogative. I have no problem with, with Sam Herbert. I have a concern about when he talks about melting down something we planned, erected, paid for, and continue to perpetuate King's memory from since that date in 83. And he says monuments don't always match current times, but this bust, he says, still has relevance. And something else to do, a new statue or a new monument or bus, it will take money. And so far, it has yet to be revealed where that would actually come from. The petition drive kicks off one week from today. Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.